Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to the enchanting world of Snowy Hollow, where winter has cast its magical spell over the town. Picture this, a quaint, mythical place blanketed in shimmering white, with the crisp air carrying the scent of pine and the promise of magic. The townsfolk are bustling about, preparing for the annual winter light festival. Laughter rings out like chimes in the frosty air, mingling with the sweet aroma of cinnamon wafting from the bakeries. Twinkling lights adorn every house, illuminating the streets lined with luminescent trees. It's a tapestry of warmth and community amidst the cold. So, buckle up as we dive into this magical chapter of Snowy Hollow. Now, this reminds me of a scene straight out of a fairy tale. In the heart of the central square, a young girl with curly chestnut hair stands, her bright green eyes sparkling with excitement. Her name is Lila, and she's captivated by the towering ice sculpture before her. It's a magnificent representation of the spirit of winter, glowing under the moonlight and casting ethereal shadows that dance across the snow. The festival preparations around her take on a magical quality, as if the very essence of the spirit is guiding the townsfolk rearranging decorations with a gentle whisper of wind. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. But what if I told you not everything is as serene as it seems? Nearby, a tall and athletic boy with tousled dark hair stands with his arms crossed. His piercing blue eyes are clouded with uncertainty. This is Finn, and he's wrestling with the weight of his father's expectations. I just don't know if I can do it. Lila, what if I let everyone down? He confesses, his voice trembling. Enter Maya, vibrant with her red hair and a smattering of freckles. She looks up from her sketchbook, her expressive eyes reflecting her own insecurities. But Finn, your courage is what makes you special. You can't let your father's shadow define you. You have to believe in yourself, she urges, her voice a blend of encouragement and desperation. Lila steps forward, her empathetic nature guiding her. Finn, we're all scared, but we're in this together. Remember what Elder Rowan said about the spirit of winter? It's not just a tale. It's about facing our fears and finding light in the darkness. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking, or maybe I'm just that predictable. As the children speak, whispers from the adults drift through the air, skepticism lacing their words. They're just children. What do they know of the spirit? One elder mutters casting a shadow over the children's resolve. But then, Elder Rowan's voice rises above the murmurs, weaving tales of the spirit's true nature, a being that embodies both beauty and darkness, a reflection of the town's collective memory. The stories wrap around the children like a warm blanket, igniting their curiosity and determination. As the festival preparations continue, Lila, Finn, and Maya exchange glances, a silent agreement passing between them. They would embark on a quest to confront the spirit of winter, to uncover the truths hidden beneath the layers of folklore and fear. The air crackles with anticipation, the promise of adventure lingering just beyond the horizon, as the first stars begin to twinkle in the deepening twilight. 